So you ready? <laughs> okay, action. One of our favorite places in the world. Uh, let's go check it out. This is the King's Guard Room. This is where King Louis XIV intended to just wow both his you know, friends and foes alike. We are in the ballroom. I'm Andy and this is Kirsten. You'd normally find us refitting our 50 foot sailboat, but we're taking a much needed break from the refit to make good on a promised trip for Kirsten's mom. So we packed our bags and took off for Paris and we've already visited some incredible places in the city and we took a three day excursion up to Normandy. Today we're gonna venture out of the city once again and visit one of our favorite places in the entire world, Versailles. For the first time this trip, I'm the one making us late out of the apartment. But uh, anyway, we're on our way. I'm nervous because our trains are delayed. So we'll see if we get to Versailles. Yeah, we'll get there eventually. Almost to Kirsten's happy place. The gardens of Versailles. But first, we're going through the palace. Palace Versailles originally was a hunting lodge by King Louis XIII. I think that was in like 1623. In the 1630s, he replaced that little hunting lodge with a slightly bigger chateau. And it wasn't until King Louis XIV, the Sun King, that this started being built. I think it was uh, built from like the 1660s to the early 1700s and the seat of government he moved the royal family here. Didn't want to be in Paris for about 12 miles away from Paris but anyways absolutely spectacular completely steeped in history one of our favorite places in the world. Uh, let's go check it out and then we'll go to the gardens. Yeah, I just wanna lose my breath. And this is the piece de resistance. It is absolutely incredible. The Hall of Mirrors. So this was like would have been um, like overwhelming for someone at the time because mirrors were extremely uncommon, extremely expensive. And this entire hall is lined with them. Not to mention the artwork and the chandeliers and all that sort of stuff. This is where you know King Louis the Fourteenth intended to just wow both his you know friends and foes alike it's really pretty a little bit crowded but still really pretty yes baby i'm a true believer and no one will stay true to my fear guard room and her guards would have camp beds put up and this is where they would sleep and then during the day they would put the camp beds away behind some screens and that would be it. <laughs> where are we going? To the garden of Versailles. Sue and Don are in line getting some food for us. We all definitely needed a recharge there. The palace took a little while. It's been a little while since we have eaten. A lot of walking, a lot of moving. Anyway, they're waiting for our food to be ready. I found a table. Things are looking up. Homegirl in dreamland. What's the plan? <sighs> we gotta get back on the path for the musical garden. We had our lunch, now we're on the hunt for the ballroom. We are in the ballroom. 
The ballroom was designed and laid out by Le Notre between 1680 and 1685 and is the only grove to have survived in its original condition until today. It is decorated with a semicircular cascade adorned with millstones and seashells brought back from the Indian Ocean and the Red Sea by the Royal Navy. This is the mirror pool, so we're going to wait for the show to begin in 10 minutes or less. fountain was dug under Louis XIII. Louis XIV had it decorated with a magnificent group in gilded lead executed by Tubi after drawings by Lebrun representing Apollo on his chariot. I think this one's my favorite. I really like this fountain. Water Theater Grove. Another one. <laughs> They're all gar gardens and groves and pools. And This grove was designed by Andre Le Notre between 1671 and 1674. It was restored in 2015 by the landscape gardener Louis Benesch for the contemporary garden and the sculptor Jean-Michel Othoniel for the sculpture fountains. <laughs> We're in the closing stretches of the gardens of Versailles. I'm sad to be leaving. Are you ready? Okay, action. Here we have a grotto. Grotto? Grotto. Grotto. Actually, it's a fountain. It's kind of like the fountain that was over there, the one that was over there, and the five that are that way. So let me see if I can give you the themes when you go visit Paris. The first day you come in and you go to the Orca Museum and the Orange Museum and you look at pictures. Walk around a lot. The second day, you find a hill, the only hill in Paris, and go up and down it multiple times. Okay? And you look at old pictures. The third day, you find another place that's big and you walk around it. Three, four times now so far, and through every one of the buildings. And you find fountains. So you go from pictures to walking to fountains. So what we're going to do tomorrow is we're going to do crepes. So we're going to find a place we get a crepe. Then we're going to find a place to look at pictures. In between we're, we're doing the walking, okay? And then we're going to find an old fountain somewhere. And then we're going to repeat that. I got no idea. So, so Thursdays on, on the itinerary is a surprise day. So I can hardly wait for that one. <laughs> 